guys welcome back to my channel um, as promised I do have my agenda review video um, I filmed a video in my last video I mentioned that this would be coming I will link it up in a card for you I'm doing this on my phone because my camera is being a butthead and I can't figure out why it won't let me record more than four minutes at a time so there's that all right anyway um, for those of you who are new to Agendio, um, these, this is a planner company out of New York. Um, they do 100% customizable planners. They come in like three different sizes. There's 100 different layouts you can choose. It's wild. Um, even if you don't do an Agendio planner, you should go on their website, agendio.com, and just create one and see all the different things you can create. It's crazy. So... Their covers are the um, clear cover with the cardstock, which I find kind of flimsy. Um, then you have your cover page, um, which is pretty standard. I'll show you there, it shows the um, length of my planner and the model numbers there are the month and the weekly models that I chose. And then you have your um, yearly calendars. My planner only runs from August 2019 to July 2020. This is just an extra page. I may cover this up. I'm not sure. Um, then I did put a blank page at the start of the planner. You can put pages like they give you a certain amount of pages you can put in. You can put them at the beginning of the planner, the end of the planner. It's very cool. Um, I started putting things in this because I got bored trying to film this a million times. So we're going to flip to a month that I haven't put anything in, which is March. And there you can see my monthly layout. Um, the boxes are lined because I prefer lines. I do have a monthly quote and then I have a to-do section. The to-do section, you can make it into anything. You can split it into mo multiple modules, multiple lists. Um, you can make these square check boxes, circle check boxes. You can have just a line here that you can check off. I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can make these whatever color you want. You can personalize it with birthdays, holidays, events, um, that kind of thing. I kind of screwed up because in my weekly view, um, in my last agendio that I had, I was able to put the tasks that I do on certain days of the week. This time around, um, it was a mistake of mine. I didn't switch the event stuff, the weekly tasks, to uh, the starting date of it. So none of that ended up in my planner until the last month, but that's fine. Um, I did the format that I have is two note pages, then the monthly spread, the weekly spread, and in between each week are two note pages, and you can put what you want on them. At the beginning of the month, I have a bill payments page and a habit tracker. Um, I got the half page habit tracker that has line notes. Then um, you have the weekly view. Now the last agendio I had, these were just color outlined. The numbers were black and this one they're filled in and the numbers are white. This is where any tasks you put would go. Um, like it has my husband's payday or no, this is my payday on here. But if, like, like, say I had, like, the trash goes out, laundry day, linen day, grocery shopping day, um, none of that made it in here until the last month. But my birthdays and holidays made it in, as well as my payday, husband's payday. Um, another change I made was uh, the line columns used to have work, workout, and then dinner. I took everything out except for work. And... This used to be a blank box up here. Now I have it as a currently reading. And then I have my to-do section every week. In between the weeks, I have a dot grid page. And you can choose the size of your dot grid. Um, and then the meal planning page that has a grocery list. Now I do use a Carryall meal planner. And I have for about four years. Um, so... I was a little worried about that because if I use this, I would have to take it with me to the grocery store. So I'm still thinking about it. Um, 
but I can still use my Cariel for monthly. And I can even do the grocery list if I want. I could maybe just write our meals here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, but it all follows the same pattern, and I pick different colors for every month. And then you get to the end, and I'll show you what I mean. See, this is what I mean. Like I had like grocery shopping and stuff like that on there. Um, but that's okay. You live and you learn. Um, then I have a life section, which I made it into monthly reflections that have six questions every month and then fitness trackers and I have enough for the year. And then I did put a contacts page in, um, two spreads with two columns each. I'm not going to put like general contacts. I'm going to put like our utility companies, um, the place that surfaces our furnace and our air conditioner, that kind of thing handy numbers like that that I need. Then I did opt to um, get a pocket. Because I had so many note pages in between the week, I decided not to put any in the back. But this is like a plasticky material, plasticky vinyl. Um, it's actually pretty sturdy. Then you have your back cover and the clear cover that goes over it. Now, I had planned on using my passion planner, my academic start in August. I didn't expect to like this one as much as I like it. Like, I am obsessed with it right now. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I have it set up to start in August, and I've started moving things in, so I may just give this a try, but you have to watch to keep uh, posted on that. And you can also follow me on Instagram to see what I decide to do. All of that stuff's linked down below. I also have a link if you are interested in the Agendio. Um, it gets you, I believe, $10 off your first order. Uh, there's a link down there. So if you wanted to do that, you can check that out. Um, design your own planner. The paper quality is really nice. Um, it's like, I think, um, 120 GSM, which is pretty nice. I mean, it feels very smooth. It's bright white. Um, I really like it. So you'll have to keep watching to see what I decide to do ultimately. If I do decide to stay in this, this is probably coming off, and I will probably put Aaron Condren covers on there. Lord knows I have enough of them. So that is my thoughts on Agendio. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down in this comment section below. I would love to answer any questions or hear any uh, thoughts you might have on the Agendio. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys. Happy planning.